Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in your diet. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. From Galapagos to Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world. But only the trashy ones live in Daytona. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge?
bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. A grouper feeding makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Once a shark takes the scent of blood, they will zealously charge towards any potential food in sight. Instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass.
The gulf is home to many creatures, great and small. Adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's soul needs to eat and evolve. Shores was built on an elevated coastal hazard area, and while they don't have any disaster prevention strategy in place, I'm sure it'll be fine. A 
bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. This shark is a sort of super scavenger completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Fish are rich and flavorful, making it completely worth the risk of Ciguatera poison. Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. The water is a frothing mix of blood and gurry. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can.
sure to begin. Shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or half eaten by sharks. Now! Bull sharks, we need some people. Rip it out! It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. every year to Baton Tordu, because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 The shark's black alien eye is firmly fixed on her prey. It took weeks for our crew to earn the shark hunter's trust convince them we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability.
The Savage Shrimper, Pookie Ball. are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. Hunters hold a deep hatred of wildlife in their hearts. None more so. These big people parties always end in a fight over whether Poodle Wheat and Terrier mix should be called a Woodle or a Weedle. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day.
humans may emit a subtle scent of fear that can embolden a hungry shark. Sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking butts. Hunt ends. But this is a mere boss in the eternal struggle between man and Humans' attention spans are short. Already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Shark's black alien eye is firmly fixed on her brain. usually hunt alone, though they may occasionally team up with other bull sharks to outwit prey. When visiting the beach, it's important 
important that each of us assumes responsibility for our own safety. be more practical simply to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine fueled blokes in that whole day? Suck it in one shot back in that Let Cliff Gibbs tell you I didn't. He a lie. started growing love for vacation. Powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. 
But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Peace of the Grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
The best way to catch a kingfish is with a wire leader twin trouble bait rig on a 7 foot rod. Or you can just be a shark. King Mackerel, who always thought it would die getting tangled in a shrimping net, instead ends up sharp. Underneath the shark's skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Sultan of Speed, the Mako. The Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Fawtick Bayou has long been a favorite go-to spot for catfishing.
Gulf Coast has one of the richest and most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Bayou Brawler, the American Alligator. star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. <laughs> 